Ed Fisher's design. Well, you're right, it is. Uh, Ed Fisher uh, designed this one in 1994 and debuted at uh, Oshkosh in 94. And um, I was uh, fortunate to meet Ed Fisher just uh, last year and he was showing me how to do covering jobs because that's his best uh, work and design. And uh, so um, he was telling me about uh, the flip plane and that he had it available and uh, we really, really enjoyed it. So we uh, uh, fell in love with it right off. I saw that tail on it and said, I want this plane and, uh, and the way we went with it. So the price was right and I had me stand in the right place at the right time and I knew it. So we went into manufacturing. The next day I asked Joe, to, my partner, to be my partner and uh, we went into production. Uh, so the, the aircraft then, you're offering it as kits? Yes, sir. Yeah. How's it coming to the customer? Uh, well, it's mostly in one box, you know, a big crate. You know, uh, we're, we're able to uh, deliver in a six-week period. Uh, we're all jigged up and ready to go. Uh, we just started uh, this January of 97. Um, uh, we also offer uh, selling home build plans still, which Ed is designed. Uh, we're also selling sub-assemblies. So we're trying to cater to the guy that's home building, uh, you know, and provide him um, parts and materials if he likes, if he's scared of doing the welding, and we says, well, look, we'll do the welding for you, uh, and uh, you do the engine and the airframe, uh, or the rest of it. So, um, uh, see, see, when we take the average guy that uh, is, doesn't really want to spend a lot of time, but wants to spend uh, some time building it, what would you recommend uh, the kit uh, that he would uh, be buying? I would, I would suggest that he buy the kit plane itself, you know, the kit form uh, for $79.95, you're getting this entire airplane. The fuselage is welded. It comes with the engine for $79.95. Uh, we do uh, all your uh, bending of the, all your tubes, the rudder, the elevator, your ailerons are already made for you, including the nut plates. All you have to do is cover it and put your bolt through it. Uh, the welding is already done for you. All you have to do is uh, paint it. Uh, the wings are done in such a simple manner where we already have all the holes drilled for you. All you have to do is put your main spars uh, in, in place, and bolt together. Uh, the hardest part for the new guy is going to be doing a little bit of your rib work, which is, isn't too hard, okay, and covering it. Uh, you'll probably spend 75% of your covering time. We're figuring 25 hours in hardware work, uh, 75 hours in covering and paint. 100 hours, the guy's got an airplane, and he's flying, he's happy. Uh, he's in the air, and that's what we want to do, is to get him in the air. Okay, well, let's have a look at the airplane then. What uh, type of uh, engine are we powering it with? Okay, well, we're using, uh, we're using the 2SI, which is, um, uh, this particular one is a 460F35. It's a 35 horse engine, uh, single carb, uh, single um, ignition, okay, electronic ignition. Uh, we've had very good luck with it. I've talked to guys that you know have had them and they're saying they got uh, 800 hours on them they're tickled pink with them we got one guy that says i got 1400 hours on his and he's just uh changed out the tops on it uh the rings and the spark plugs and uh, the pistons and all and he's just tickled pink uh so we feel we have a really solid engine here and we want to stick with it because it does keep us at 247 which is below the 254 weight what, limit what kind of reduction driver are they using on we have a 2.65 reduction drive uh, we're using a 64 inch prop uh, this particular one on the, on the prototype, of course, is an Ivo prop. We're offering a wooden prop with the with the, the kit. So, you guys got his airplane up. He's got it uh, ready to fly. He's got this engine on. What kind of performance is he going to get out of it? Well, he should be able to take off in a in a 150 uh, foot run uh, without any problem. Um, he's going to be cruising about 55. 45-55 is going to be his cruise speed. We have the VNE is at 70, but we know it'll handle way more. We just want to say it. Uh, to protect you, the pilot. Um, stall speed's at 27. That's probably the most important thing, is knowing where your stall speed is. It is like many ultralights. You do fly it to the ground. It's a tail dragger, and, uh, and you just fly right to the ground and set her down. What kind of control systems are you using on it? We have a three-axis control system. Uh, our control system is set up with uh, ailerons, no flaps, because we have a six-foot cord tapered up to four-foot wing, okay? So uh, we feel uh, the full operating uh, ailerons, full wing ailerons, is working really good for us. If somebody wants to get more information, how do we get a hold of you? Well, the best way to get a hold of us is call us uh, at Wings of Freedom Aviation Incorporated. Our number is 216-834-3254. Uh,
or you can fax us at 216-693-4075. And we're in Middlefield, Ohio. You got a zip code for a middle Yeah, I got a zip code. It's 44062. Okay. Uh, post office box 835, Middlefield, Ohio. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you.